In this video we're going to look at real life examples of the Pythagorean theorem. So we'll look at example one, a baseball diamond. Okay, example two, speaker placement in a room uh, and roofing. Okay, roof problem at the end. Okay, so <clears throat> let's have a look at the baseball diamond. It's exactly a, it, it's a square with each side 90 feet long. How far is it from home to second base, right? So uh, we'll draw a square, okay, on its side, and uh, let's say this is home, let's say this is second base, okay, and um, how, what is the length from here to here? And we know that the side, each side of the square is 90 feet. From here to here. So how are we going to find the distance from home to second base? See if you can figure it out. By all means press pause and, and see if you can do it and then check the video, right? <coughs> do you have a right angle triangle anywhere? right angle triangle that's a right angle isn't it right there which would make this distance we're looking for uh, the hypotenuse let's call it X right that's the distance we need right from here to here now what's the distance from here to here if each side of the square is 90 feet isn't this also 90 feet so it's 90 from here to here right so what we have is a triangle, right? That is 90 times 90, and then we need to find this length x, and that's a right angle triangle. So what formula do we need? The um, Pythagorean theorem, where c squared equals a squared plus b squared, and c squared is the hypotenuse, in this case x, isn't it? So we have x squared equals 90. A would be 90, right? 90 squared plus, and B would also be 90. 90 squared, right? So calculate what x is. Go ahead and press pause and do it yourself. Okay, I'll do it slowly now in case you need it. x squared is. 90 squared would be 8100 and this 90 squared would also be 8100 so x squared equals 0, 0, 2 and then 8 and 8 is 16 16,200 and then we need to do what? How do you get x? Well, to undo squared you gotta take the square root, right? Take the square root, plug it in your calculator Square root of 16200. Zero, zero. And we get x um, equals 127.279, blah, yada, yada, yada. Let's say x is approximately, um, we'll give it one decimal place. How about that? Round it to one decimal place. And what do you get? To the nearest tenth. 127.3 feet, right? Let's have a look at example two. Speaker wire will run under a carpet diagonally across an 11 foot by 15 foot room. If three feet of slack is required in each end, how long should the piece of wire be? Okay, so what we need to do is draw the room. This is the key to everything, do that. You can all draw a rectangle. No excuses. Got it? Draw a rectangle. It is 11 feet by 15. Okay? 11 here, 15 here. The speaker wire will run under a carpet diagonally. Diagonally across. Means it'll go like this. Diagonally. Okay, and then it says if three feet of slacks is required, how long should the piece be? 
So we need three feet of slack required on each end, means that we need to have three feet on this end and three feet on this end for attaching the speaker wire to to whatever it needs to be attached to, right? So what do we need to find then in that case? Don't we need to find this length? So we'll call that X maybe, right? Do you see a right angle triangle anywhere? Right angle triangle? There's one here, isn't there? And what uh, formula? What's the formula? If you have a right angle triangle, C A B, then C squared equals A squared plus B squared, right? We have a triangle, right angle triangle. That we what does what's uh, what would C be in our right angle triangle? Would it be X eleven or fifteen? Because this is our right angle triangle here, isn't it? Right? Our C would be X, right? So it's X squared equals what's our A? You could call it anything, 15 or 11, whichever. Let's call it 11 for fun. 11 squared plus, and our B would be, say, 15. Either way, it doesn't matter. Okay. And so we need to solve that. So please press pause and get the answer. Press pause and do it yourself and then check on the video. Okay? And get the entire answer to the question. And don't forget about this part if three feet of slack is required on each end. Right? Okay, I'm going to do the whole thing now. I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. This will give me x squared equals 121 plus 225. So x squared equals. 6, 4, 3. To undo the squared, I need to take the square root. Okay. Um, the square root of 3, 4, 6, so I'll get x on the left. The square root of x squared is x. And on the right, I'll get... Um, 18.6... 0, 1, and so on, so x is approximately 18.6 feet, right? So, x 18.6, but what is the answer? Because the question is, if 3 feet of slack is required on each end, how long should the piece of wire be? Yeah, we've got that it's 18.6 from here to here, stretched straight across. Well, you've got to connect your wire to, to different things on either end. So you need three feet on either end. So what you need is your 18.6 with three added to the right and with three added to the left. Oh, yeah. And so if you add all that together, that's 21. And three, that's 24, right? Or 24.6, rather. 24.6 feet, right? That is the answer. Approximately 24.6 feet. Very, very approximately, right? Very close. Okay, let's have a look at example three, roofing. A house is 22 feet wide and 30 feet long. The peak of the roof is, roof is seven foot higher than the bottom of the roof or the ceiling, let's say. If one packet of shingles covers uh, 33 and a third square feet, how many packets will the job require? What we need is a picture. Okay? So we can all do this. Here is the side of the house. It is a rectangle. Okay? The house is 22 foot wide and 30 foot long. So the house goes that way, right? So, and then the, then the next... Um, that's the corner of the house there, right? From here to here. So it's 30 feet long, right? 30 from here to here. 22 feet wide. 22 from here to here, right? And the peak of the roof is 7 foot higher than the bottom of the roof of the scene. In other words, like, the roof is here, okay? And it is 7 foot higher than this part, 
the ceiling of the first one. It's the first two, uh, one story house. So seven high from here to here, okay? And of course you've got more roof back there, right? So, now my drawing is getting in on top of the words, right? But um, this is the roof here, isn't it? And that needs shingles on it. And then of course don't forget you've got more roof back here. So your roof has this part and this part, two parts, right? Now, um, how many shingles do we need? What is the area of the roof? Well, let us take this purple part, okay? It is 30 long from here to here, agreed? What we do not know is the distance from here to here. Let's call that X. X goes from here to here, right? I know that this distance is 7. And do you see a right angle triangle anywhere? Do you see a right angle triangle? There's one right here, isn't there? Here's a right angle. Right there. Okay. Sorry, this, this distance is seven. Seven up and down here. Okay. <clears throat> and okay, it's twenty-two across and this should be halfway. So what's halfway what if what happens when we divide twenty-two and two? into two parts. In other words, what I'm trying to ask is what is this distance here? From here to here is what? Half of 22? It's 11, isn't it? So we have this right angle triangle. Let me just draw it clear. It's part of the roof. 7, 11, X. Once I find this length X I'll be able to go x time this number times 30 will give me the area of the roof and then I can start figuring out you know what how many shingles I need and things like that but we have to find the roof's area before we can do anything before we find the area of the roof we need the value of x so let's get that first of all okay so we have this right angle triangle press pause and find the value of x press pause and do it okay I'll do it now so it is the long side squared equals the short side squared plus another short side squared. So it's x squared equals 7 squared plus 11 squared. x squared equals 49 plus 121. x squared equals, um, I'm thinking that's 170, right? And then we take the square root of both sides and we find that x is approximately, and to the nearest foot will do, I guess. thirteen point zero three so I'm getting thirteen point zero three eight yada yada so x is approximately thirteen feet okay so we've got that part using the Pythagorean theorem now we have to figure out the area of the roof once we get the area of the roof we'll be able to figure out how much shingles we need per square feet because of the square feet right how much area we need to cover right so x is 13 so that means that this purple area of the roof if I could draw that somewhere let me draw that here okay the purple area of the roof that part is 13 times 30 what is the area of a, rect of a rectangle that measures 13 times 30 Well, the area is you just multiply them, right? 13 times 30, and that gives you 390 um, square feet, or FT squared. So this gives us 390 feet squared, okay? But that, is that all of the roof? Is the roof made up of just one side? Doesn't it have an exact... Uh, other side over here, another side, that should be the same area, right? So it has another rectangle over here that measures also 13 times 30. 
So this green area is also 390 feet squared, right? Square feet. That makes sense? So you have 390 and 390. So the total area of the roof then must be uh, 390 plus 390, right? So that would be 6, 7, 80 square feet, or feet squared. So the total area of the roof would be 780 square feet. And now getting on to the question, it says if one packet of shingles covers 33 and a third square feet, how many packets will the job require? So how many 33 and a thirds do I need to get to here? In other words, if I went 33 and a third plus 33 and a third plus 33 and a third, how long would it take me to get to 780 type of thing? Or a quicker way to do that would be to use division. What is 780 divided by 33 and one third, right? And of course, you can use a calculator on that because that will be 780 over, it's approximately that over, let's you know a third is 0.333, isn't it? Let's do that 780 over 33, uh, 0.333. Okay, that'll be pretty close. All right, to a third. So 780 divided by 33.333 in your calculator gives me 23.4. What does that number represent? I've taken the total area of the roof, so the roof area was this number, uh, one packet is this amount, so if I go this into this, I'm asking how many packets, am I, how many packets, and I get 23.4 packets, isn't that right? But you can't, you probably won't be allowed to buy 0.4 packets at the store. So what is the answer? What is the answer in real life? How many packets do we need to buy? Do you think you can go in and rip up a packet just to get the 0.4? That wouldn't make sense, right? So you can't buy a decimal amount, so you have to round it. Now, should you round it up or round it down? I hear somebody say round down. If you round down, you're not going to have enough shingles for the roof. You're going to have a hole in your roof. Do you want a hole in your roof? Hole. That's not going to be good. Everything else will be covered in shingles. And then you have a hole because this is the point four that you didn't want to, to spend on. Too stingy, right? You cannot round down in a situation like this, can you? You've got to round up. I need 23.4 packets, let me buy 24 packets, then I'll definitely have enough, right? So that's the answer.